Attention. So the fourth, Go. fifth race of uh, Thursday, second day of Henry Rory Regatta, we have a heat of the Diamond Challenge Cup. It's the first appearance these athletes will have made of this year's regatta. Buckinghamshire station on the right side of your screen moved all away over to his opposition. He's on the on the umpire's warning right now. So we have the Italian lightweight on the Buckinghamshire station, Garetti. Been the lightweight team for many, many years. He finished seventh in the world last season. Yeah, and we've got a much less experienced athlete on the Barcher station. We've got equipment from Twickenham Ryan Club. Competed at the indoor round championships this year, finishing 66 with pretty good time, 6.07 for a club up. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. He's a town ID athlete and he's only been rowing for a year and a half or so. So it's pretty good even just to have qualified, to be honest, with the level of experience he has in the single skull. And it comes back that there's, I don't think there's any tougher event, any athlete. Single skull is the hardest thing you can do, especially down this course being 200. And what, 2,112 meters long, it's a long way. It is a long way. And here, you know, he'll, he'll be, it'll be great for him to have experienced a race against an international athlete of this sort of caliber, um, Goretti. But um, you can just see the experience, the lightweight athlete, very, dyna very dynamic. You can see Goretti's moved out there. His experience of world racing, you know, they said being a lightweight. Yeah, he just, he's just a quicker guy, isn't he? He's done more years, he's been at the world class level. His opposition hasn't raced that very much, and he's coming here for a great experience to row in this event. Great, he was in lightweight four in Rio that came fourth, so just missed out on the medal. It's always a that tough position to finish. Decide to go it alone in the single. Yeah, and seventh in the single is no slouch in the last year. Um, and here, and it's quite the single, the smaller boats, Although it looks great here, it's still quite choppy and quite bouncy, and it's quite hard to handle the single in these conditions. And it's quite unsettling, isn't it? You know, especially in a small boat, you get moved around. Um, the launches are going to keep moving up past you. Yeah, Everybody's enjoying themselves. That's right, exactly. So that kind of experience. I mean, t today it's quite calm. On Saturday lunchtime, the singles will be pretty, pretty uncomfortable. Pretty bouncy, yeah. But a great start to the regatta for Goretti here. Being able to control the race from the start. You can see there he's got Polizia on the back of his shirt. He's a policeman, um, part of the police sports section. So in Italy, with their elite athletes, they get civil servant jobs, and that means they can go and train to try and compete. It's yes. a great shot there from behind, just watching the movement. It's a very effective skull, isn't it? You can see how wide his hands are at the front, and they're narrow at the finish. The range he gets, yeah, out front, picking it up. Yeah, that's quite often with the novice scholars is getting them the confidence to have really wide hands at the front of the stroke, because you're not going to generate any boat speed if you don't. And not to kind of overreach and dip down, it's about sitting tall. And you can see Quitman, just a younger, more experienced, less experienced guy, you can see he's more up in his shoulders, his arms are a bit bent. That's just going to be a matter of time, just doesn't do the mileage. And this is a great thing for him to see, you know, he gets to see that shot from behind, areas that he can improve, new to the sport. Exactly. And he's a, he's a tall fellow, isn't he? At one, at two metres tall, 97 kilos. He's only going to get quicker, isn't he? He's more experienced. Exactly. More he, he, as I said, he's a young athlete, he's 22 years old, so new to the sport. Great kind of introduction, I guess, to racing at Henley today, racing against an international lightweight. Lots to take from it, I'm sure. Yeah, he's got... He's got He's 11 years older than him, so he's had a few more races under his belt. Yeah, a bit of applause there coming from the enclosures. And also for Grady to go down the course, this has been his first time over the race, of course, in competition rather than just paddling. Yeah, and this is his first time at the regatta ever, so nice to win your first race. comes towards the finish line, close to grandstand. It's a heat of the Diamond Challenge skulls, a win for Goretti. They have equipment, they've taken the right